What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to Fuzzy Motion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I think it's an Isaac day, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, man, so much to do, so little time. It's, it's already the wonderful wilds of May. And we're in the midst of some good weather, so hopefully that continues. We don't get any more snow. That'd be nice, right? So much snow this winter has been awful. Um, yeah, that's a great pickup in the first floor. Uh, I love me some Blood of the Martyr. Just a straight up good old fashioned damage upgrade. And what's better than a crown of thorns? Because, I mean, really, if I'm going to wear a crown, it should have some thorns in it to show how prickly I can be. Let's go ahead and take care of this motherfucker. Uh, pick up the bomb that he produces. Hopefully this will... Oh, I should have been smarter and tried to walk that into the wall. But I didn't. So, sue me. All right. What are we looking for right now? HP upgrades. Uh, some defensive uh, items wouldn't be too bad. I'd love, I'd love a cube of meat. I'm going to have to get that key, though. And we'll also check for the secret room up top. It's not there, but we got a key for it. So, a bomb for a key is a decent enough trade in my book. I don't care what you say. Uh, we're going to... And what the fuck is that? Excuse me a second. I, where am getting updates on my goddamn desktop? What, what is that all about? Uh, I apologize for that. I didn't know that that sort of intrusion uh, Apple allowed. However... Let's digress. Take care of this guy in the corner, and we should be in good shape. All right. One more chest. What do you got for me? Spirit heart and some money. Should have waited to pick up that spirit heart, though. I always, as soon as I see a spirit heart, my first reaction is, Ooh, goody, a spirit heart! And then I think to myself, I should have fucking waited. Because, uh, you know, like most fights with Larry Jr., it starts off nice, it starts off slow, and relati relatively pedestrian. However, Larry Jr. somehow can very quickly become a, a big prick and take you for a ride if you're not careful. Uh, and I want to prevent that from happening and maybe hold on to the spirit heart just a little bit longer. You know, just a little bit longer. Make it la- Oh, I almost walked into him. See, see, that's what I mean. That's what exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, see if I can tag him from here. Cool. And he should be dead. Maybe not on this pass, but a few more. Oh, come on. Don't drag this out. There we go, bud. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails is unsuitable for my tastes. We'll pick up this HP upgrade and be done with it. Down to the next floor. Alright, basement part two. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, come at me. Come at me, bro. So, let's see. Uh, I got something very interesting on Twitter that I thought I might share with everybody. Um, YouTube is starting what, what appears to be, at least from my experience, some sort of like a, a summer online um, grad class that's going to have like a two uh, session cycle to it. And uh, basically it's just, uh, you know, how to maximize your potential on YouTube and things like that. Uh, not to talk too much YouTube politics, but I, I just thought it was really interesting that they would offer something like that. And I'm really excited to see, you know, how that all works out and what exactly they have to share with me. So I'll keep you updated, you know, as uh, the days go on. It's going to start May 7th. Hopefully I'll be getting a, a you know, an email um, because I registered uh, today uh, at the beginning of May. Um, and it'd be interesting to see what they have to, uh, to show you. You know, I've taken online courses. I've done graduate work online, uh, you know, and I, I, I know what that's like. So I'm wondering if it's going to be anything like that or if it's just going to be like, oh, watch these videos, you know, comment on these videos. Uh, join in this discussion, you know, which is essentially online coursework. Uh, I I'm just curious how they do it. All right, let's go ahead and walk into this boss fight. There's our cube of meat that I was hoping for, and also a tinted rock. So we do have a, a bomb in which to access it. I'm going to wait, though, because, uh, you know, some distractions are afoot. Let's go ahead and take care of this little bastard. And we got ourselves some grandfather fives, some pooters, some... Uh, Annoying motherfuckers here. He should be in his hey dude stage. There we go. Um, I might want to take care of some of these flies on the perimeter, but I just want to focus on uh, Famine because he's nearly dead. There he goes. So now that he's dead, uh, I think we've earned a deal with the devil, though I have been wrong in the past. Let's go ahead and take care of this grandfather fly and this pooter. That gives us our cube of meat and our deal with the devil. Blow this son of a bitch up. Please, small rock. No small rock. All right. Well, you know, it was worth noting that it could have happened if it would have happened. Would have been great. Um, the luck foot's a pretty good item, but I think for one heart we could probably get something better. Let's reroll. Uh, the nail and 
Spirit of the... No, that's Whore of Babylon. Spirit of the Night is different. Um, yeah, neither of those are worth taking. Now we may, have, we may have increased our chances of getting an Angel Room, which I very much enjoy Angel Rooms. However, this is not part of a previous session, so maybe we did, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Isaac mechanics are odd, because as soon as I think I know something, something happens to contradict what I thought I knew. And uh, that's no fun. We're picking up some keys. That makes me very happy, because without keys, you just can't do anything. Need to find that item room. And we'll be good. Be nice if we could find a secret room with a decent amount of money, because then the shop becomes a possibility. We are finding a decent amount of money just on the ground. I mean, we've got five cents just by walking around the place. Um, spider Butt is, you know, it's one of those middling sort of items that if you don't have an active item, sure, go ahead, take it. But the D6, the almighty D6, you expect me to give that up for this, for this meager active item? Oh, God, don't get hit by that. What is wrong with you? Okay. So we lost a full spirit art because of my very shitty dodging. Hopefully that doesn't continue or become a theme through this run. And now the question becomes, what will Spider Butt re-roll into? I was going to say, where is the secret room? But then I realized, you don't have bombs to say that, stupid. So why are you going to? Uh, Guardian Angel is a fantastic item. It's going to make our orbitals that much more important. Rotate around us a little bit faster and make them a little bit more effective. You know, we haven't gone to an angel room, but we already have two angel room items, which is kind of neat. Uh, and it's only the second floor. Uh, I hope this keeps up. <laughs> It'd be really neat if we can come across, uh, you know, Sacred Heart. I mean, that would that would just be fantastic. I would absolutely love that possibility. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just make it down to the caves, and hopefully we can uh, continue this uh, streak of good happenstance. Because, you know, it, it isn't me. It isn't me that's making these good things happen. It's the will of the game. It's the random number generator. It's the gods from above. I have very little influence on what's happening here. All right, let's move to the left. Now it's uh, re-roll time, and we need to find enough rooms to get a re-roll and to come back here to take Wiggle Worm, wiggle worm and turn that into something astounding. But now that we found the boss room, I think it's important to note that we'll be going to that first because we can. Let's go ahead and see what's in our boss fight. This is a fight with uh, Peep. Peep's a bitch. I hate Peep. I hope Peep would die. A thousand deaths. Honestly, if they took Peep out and never put him back in another Binding of Isaac game, I would be the happiest man on the face of the planet. Peep and his uh, retarded brother, the bloat. Um, can't stand either of these motherfuckers. They are honestly the worst. Oh, almost got hit by that, but luckily, uh, my two orbitals saved me. Um, this creep is a little bit of an issue. Okay. So now what I would really like, kind of in the same vein of, of uh, damage that we've gotten before, I would honestly like the pentagram. Or uh, squeezy. And another deal with the devil, and a good deal with the devil item. Because if that happens... The world's going to open up for us. Uh, a few more shots should kill him. Or no, he's just going to shrug him off, eat him, and then uh, make me go through some more harrowing stunts. Uh, speed upgrade is not necessarily bad, but I think we can do better. Stem cells is a, a fine pickup, although it does carry with it a small shot speed upgrade, which I'm not crazy about, although I'm not completely adverse to either. Yeah, keep flip-flopping, right? Just keep going every other way flip-flopping the fuzzy motion story let's move over to the right and see if we can't uh, coerce another reroll out of the rest of these rooms I haven't even thought of uh, the possibility that we might not have enough rooms to get another roll going and that would make me very sad because I love hitting my spacebar I do it every time I write a sentence I type a sentence in my computer uh, I do it every time I want to execute a program and not use the enter key because the enter key is so, so 1997, right? Who uses that anymore? I had space, buddy. All right. And uh, in that same vein, I'd like to use my space bar to turn Wiggle Worm into something amazing. Something like Polythemus, Mom's Knife. So give me that opportunity, game. Give me that one thing that's the only thing I ask of you. Don't ruin this for me. Don't you dare ruin this for me. Okay, I'm done. 
Let's go ahead and take care of these maggots. Uh, shouldn't be too much more of a, of a fight that they put up. Another key. I'm very happy for that. Uh, I'm cautious not to walk into that next room because this could be the difference between us getting a reroll and us not. Uh, secret room is probably right next to that item room, and I will check in just a moment. We'll reroll this into the bean. Okay. It's there. We use it. Very good. Had a great laugh. Let's go ahead and just check if this is the secret room, because if it is, we're going into the shop. There we go. Do we have enough money for the shop? We don't. But another couple of cents might make it worthwhile. So let's go ahead and just see if we can't find that lying around. Or it might even be in the uh, mob trap room by way of the golden chest that we haven't opened up yet. Uh, and there is a, a wonderful, wonderful curse room that we have yet to explore. And I'm so excited to explore it. But I will do so after we go to the mob trap room. Because a little bit of money can go a long way. Okay, don't get hit by that. Cool. Some red hearts lying on the ground. Not that it matters. All right. Spirit hearts would be fine. Keys would be okay. But I'd really like two cents. You do this every other time. Oh, just the one? Just the one? You scum. All right. So it looks like we're not going to the shop, unfortunately. Uh, unless there's some other items that... Happened to drop after this fight, which I really don't have any control over, but, uh, you know, if the game's feeling nice, then the game's feeling nice, right? Let's go ahead and just not take damage on this room, and I think we'll feel a lot accomplished about what's happened here on this floor. Okay, a few more. Don't get hit by those. Okay, fire some shots in. Fire some shots in, damn it. No, not that way. All right, so we get a key. I can't really complain about keys, but that one cent would have made a lot of difference. Let's go ahead and see what's in this curse room, and then we'll get out of here. Hopefully it's an angel item, or a transport to the devil room, or just a troll bomb. You know, you win some, you lose some, but uh, just hope that you win more than you lose. Okay, so what do we get from this floor? An HP upgrade, essentially. Not too much to talk about. We did a couple of re-rolls. Got some keys for our troubles, but we also lost some keys. So we pretty much made out even. And we're up to 14 cents. So there will be a chance to spawn a blood bank, an arcade on the next floor, which we might use to get another HP upgrade, another speed upgrade. Some good stuff can happen there. Um, but I want another deal with the devil, and I want it to be a good one because we had one already, and it was kind of shitty. You know, we couldn't make a make heads or tails of it. I mean, we could have taken the luck foot, but, you know, there's better items in that pool, and you can find the luck foot elsewhere. So, I, I just didn't think it was a, a great idea. Plus, we it's not like we had any way or opportunity to make ourselves uh, come across some pills, because you know, luck foot, one of the biggest uh, benefits of using luck foot is uh, increased gambling, but it's also that all pills have to be good. Um, we hadn't even come across a pill yet. It was early in the game. It was only one heart, but I, I just didn't feel like it was uh... A smart move. There goes that one cent we could have gotten. Uh, if need be, we'll access that one cent by uh, martyring ourselves a little bit, but uh, I'm going to try and avoid that unless necessary. Completely necessary. Okay. There's our item room. Don't get hit by the spider. Don't be a, don't be a spider's bitch. Well, there goes PhD, so one way or another, pills are going to be good for us. Um, I'm tempted to see if that's not uh, re-rollable. I don't know. Let's see what's in this curse room. Could have been something great. Two spirit hearts isn't bad. Nothing to sneeze at. Um, I don't know if I, I really want... Well, you know what? Fuck it. We haven't come across any pills, but if we do, they're going to be great. Okay. Don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. PhD is a fine item to pick up. I don't want to tempt fate and have that give me, like, the black bean or something shitty. I don't know. Black bean isn't even really that bad. Way better than the uh, regular bean. Okay. So now we need to find the boss room because uh, re-rolls, I'm going to save for the boss room pool. And hopefully we can get a tears upgrade or a straight damage upgrade, which is less likely but more fun. And, uh, you know, HP upgrades are always fun. There goes the secret room, though. And seeing as we couldn't find out that on our own, it's kind of nice of uh, the game to give it to us. 
So maybe this will bring us up to 15 cents. Maybe it'll have an item in it that we can reroll. And uh, you know, you never know. Okay. Let's just not take damage to any of these guys. More keys. I'm not going to complain about that. But I will complain about this. What the f- Like, you know, eat a dick. Let's blow this up and see what it gives me back. Another bomb, so it's just cathartic. Walk to the left and see what we have here. Okay, that almost got me. Gonna be quite honest. Almost got hit by that fly. Um, and there's spikes everywhere, so this is a little scary. Let's just play it cool and not freak out. Okay, when you freak out, the game can smell your fear, and then it goes in for the kill. Alright, Lucto is fun. I like Lucto because it increases the drop chances that you have. I'm going to leave this here. If we need another reroll, come back. Use that room as some, uh, some charging station for our D6. Also, I don't want to put myself in harm's way unless I desperately need to. And a golden chest or a regular chest is nice, but it's no reason to put myself in danger of losing more health and possibly throwing away a chance for a deal with the devil. There is our boss room, so we'll be going in there first before we go to the arcade, before we go to the shop, before we do anything, we'll be hitting that up. And now the question becomes, if you have an opportunity to pick up the pageant boy, do you do it? We're short a cent. We're going to be short another cent if we walk into the arcade. I don't know. Okay, I realize everything I just said was completely stupid because when we walk into the arcade after this fight, oh god, we'll be able to generate as much money as we want. So it, disregard everything I just said. I don't know. Isaac, Isaac Genix 101 got away from me for a second there. I lost track of what I was talking about and then... Realize what a fucking idiot I am. Alright, at any rate, we're fighting against Pestilence. This will give us a second level cube of meat, which I am very fond of. However, not to be confused with the third level cube of meat, which many people will argue is, you know, markedly better, but I don't think so. I think that uh, the defense and the added benefit of uh, Tear shooting along with you is way better than a, a dude that kicks around your bombs and is generally just an asshole on uh, the floors after this. So I will avoid a third level like the plague, but take a second level with a smile and a handshake. Pestilence is almost dead. We should be able to finish this off without taking any more uh, s shitty damage. And there goes a an angel room. So let's go ahead and see what the game's been nice enough to give us. The relic. Relic's a good pickup. It's going to give us a chance to drop some uh, spirit hearts every five rooms. Let's go ahead and walk into the arcade, pick up the scent, and play this so that we can get enough money to walk into the shop. With confidence, knowing we don't owe nobody nothing. Show me your expensive wares, sir. Okay, this is a shitty thing to have happen. First shop we go to has greed in it. Can't say we didn't expect it. I mean, you know, we are in the catacombs part two. But, if he drops something, we could possibly re-roll that. So let's just hope that... Super Greed is nice enough to drop, like, the quarter or the steam sale. And then we might find ourselves in a better situation than we are currently. Alright, come here, you stupid penny-eyed son of a bitch. Okay, I honestly just played chicken and lost with that bullet. Alright, we got a lot of money. Probably gonna get a lot more money. But... That did not go as planned. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything else to do here other than just arcade stuff. So let's play this a little bit. Play us down to 15 cents. Oh, the Polaroid's so early. I think what we can do then is go like this. Pick this up. There's a spirit heart. Cool. Spirit hearts would make me feel very happy right about now. More keys. I'm a fan. Alright. More spirit hearts. Very good. That's going to make playing this blood bank feel a lot better. And then we're looking at Skatol. Possibly Skatol. No Skatol. Okay, very good. Alright. One more play out of each of these sons of bitches. Maybe Skatol. We get Skatol. We could turn this into a re-rolling possibility. Um, let me just double check something because... 
you know, with the Curse of Blindness, it's hard to tell. Alright, so we got one full heart and a half a heart down below us, and we might have some more hearts scattered about the, uh, the floor. So I'm gonna play this down to half a heart, and then use the permanent Polaroid Invincibility to play it three more times past that. Pick up the half heart, and then do the same thing over. And hopefully induce a deal, or not a deal with the devil, but a blood bag. Uh, I didn't get the maximum amount of plays out of that. Got some good money, though. <coughs> Let's go ahead and pick up this half red heart. We should get three more plays out of this. One more. One more. There we go. Okay. That's not terrible. It's not. Especially if we can get some red hearts on the ground right now. Which isn't happening. <clears throat> okay. Let's just get rid of the Polaroid. Get the Lucky Toe. We're going to walk into that <clears throat> mob trap room. And the only reason we're going to do that is hopefully to get some more uh, red hearts. Then if you know we get some more red hearts, we'll come back in here, play that a little bit, get some more money. And then re-roll the IV bag into something amazing. I would really like for this three-headed Monty to be nice enough and give us Skatol so that we'll have two reroll pedestals, but unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be cooperating or even want to cooperate. Look at him. Look at his smug little face. He doesn't give a shit. He's just like, I can't wait to screw you. Can't wait for you to give me all your yummy money. It's just like in real life. Okay. So I'm hoping for some more spirit hearts. Possibly Curved Horn or the Cancer, which would be an excellent... Almost very nece like necessary pickup as far as trinkets go because Lucto will serve us well. Okay, that's just excessive. There are no keys. There are no slots to be throwing keys into. Another temperance card could possibly get us another um, IV bag or not another IV bag, another uh, blood bag uh, possibility. But right now with... Uh, the amount of keys that we don't have. I don't think that's a great idea. All right. So I played that a little bit too much. No big deal. We'll come back this way and see if uh, there was any red hearts that we can pick up. There's one. Um, do I feel comfortable doing this? Probably. Yeah, why not? What else are you going to use bombs for? <laughs> All right. We'll pick up that red heart. And then we will come this way. That one cent is meaningless to us now. We can generate as much money as we would possibly ever want. Wait. Oh, it was down beneath us. That's right. My mistake. I got lost for a second. Didn't know where I was. There's another heart. And we should be should be looking all right pretty soon. Let's walk in here and uh, see what this mob trap room's all about. Two bombs isn't terrible. Let's kill these... Uh, Shitty maggots. I hate these guys. Especially on certain floors, like, where the, uh, you know, the catacombs of the caves where, like, there's parts of the rooms where most of the floor is just non-existent. Those things are, like, certain death because you're just guaranteed to take damage with them. I just, I, oh, I hate them. They're engineered to my frustration. All right. I should be able to kill one of these. I mean, come on. Knocked him down how many times? Alright, don't keep getting up. Don't be a nuisance. Okay, these guys can be a little bit of an issue. Only because I do have some knockback. And they already... Yeah, they dance around enough as it is. Okay. There we go. And a pill. This pill has to be good. What is it? Balls of steel. Like I said, has to be good. Let's go ahead and walk out here. Um... Now, we have two hearts, and there's another full heart waiting for us. We have five spirit hearts on top. I think what I'm going to do is that's that scummy trick again, where I try to um, play Temperance a bunch of times in the hopes of getting another uh, HP upgrade. And then use the permanent Polaroid invincibility that would come from it to play it you know, a couple more times. Come on. Be good. Oh, I could have IV bagged it and did it both at the same time. What was I thinking? Rookie mistake. I won't make that mistake again, though. All right. 
So we're gonna get this last heart that's over here, and then we're gonna play the shit out of both of those at the same time. Oh my god, the synergies! The synergies! Here we go! Look at all that money! <laughs> that is a shit ton of money. I should have done that from the beginning. Don't know why I didn't. Alright. We're gonna stay here a little bit. I apologize if that's not your bag, but you know what? We gotta do what we need to in order to make things like that happen. Okay. So let's keep playing the three-headed Monty. And just keep doing this. There goes our blood bag, finally. And now we can re-roll this IV bag without any sort of regrets or bad feelings. We get growth hormones, which is a speed and damage upgrade, two things that we could desperately use at the moment. And I'm very happy with how this floor turned out. So, got a couple of HP upgrades, a lot of money, damage and speed. We're looking pretty good. Not a one run, not a one run yet, however, much an improvement over the last couple of floors. Uh, the only other thing I would really want right now, I guess a gimmick item, maybe a carry item, brimstone, mom's knife, we would want those sort of things if we wanted to uh, ensure victory. Uh, but, you know, just a flying item I think would go a long way. Because you know, the, the, our tiers are, are good, you know, for the time being. We'd want some more augmentations along the way, but uh, our tiers are alright right now. Okay, don't get, yeah, don't get marched on. You guys are about to march on my nuts. Okay, my speed is a little cumbersome, but still manageable. Don't turn around. You're gonna piss me off if you do that. This guy is a real ball buster. Oh, what? What are you, the bomb squad? How did you know to run away from that so quickly? No, no, no. Okay, good. Alright, Guardian Angel. I'm gonna need you to step it up right now. Okay, more money. Very good. If we can somehow find our way into um, money equals power, then we're sitting pretty. Very rare that that comes along. It came along a couple of videos ago, but when it does, life is good. And especially with 99 cents, which I don't see us not getting, really. That is a cakewalk. We're also on an XL floor. Which means we're going to miss out on a shop possibility. Um, but, you know, we have enough keys to make use of the shops and the item rooms. Normally on XL floors, that's our biggest concern. Um, obviously, we don't have to worry about that. So, I'm okay with that. Plus, it's not uh, Curse of the Darkness, which would very much upset me. Okay, don't get hit anymore. Just sustain yourself and keep away from these evil demon fetuses. Kind of big for a fetus. Maybe they're like stillborns? I don't even know why I'm discussing this. Who cares, right? Okay. Let's take care of these brains. As George Mero would say, let's take care of the brains. That's next shot. You got to be eating brains. Does anybody have the brains? That's your job, Johnny. You gotta take care of the brains. To the left, we're gonna fight Lust. Uh, fast enough, we should be able to get away from Lust. I would love to get Poison Touch right now because if we come across Guppy's Paw or a way to shuck these red hearts, the synergy of Poison Touch and just Polaroid Invincibility is staggering. Okay. There goes a Balls of Steel pill. We'll use that and we'll also pick up this regular old nickel here. Cursed Skull can suck it because I hate that item. <clears throat> Let's stay away from these sons of bitches. And keep our distance. Alright. So health is not really an issue right now. Keys are not really an issue. What would we want? Just a flying item, I suppose. Uh, possibly some more damage. You know? You're never going to see me say... Oh man, we got Polythemus. Oh man, we got Brimstone. Oh man, we got Spat Odd Mushroom. Damn, I wish we got something else. Never gonna hear me say that, so any of those things are always a welcome addition 
to our attempts at beating Mom and Blue Baby and Isaac and all those cast of characters. Let's see what's up here. Nothing important. I kind of felt this was a dead end. I need to start finding the uh, the boss room. Actually, I can't because this is an XL floor. Well, no, I'll fight the first boss and then, you know, walk out. But need to start finding something to reroll is really my bigger problem. I knew that was going to happen, too. Um, is it worth playing the Blood Bank as much as we want right now? Maybe. Uh, and that's just because deals with the devil on this floor are hard to come by. And if we do, it's probably through a Joker card that we end up getting them. Oh, oh, oh. Dancing around. Okay, let's play this. Maybe if we can get another IV bag, we'll be in a better position. A little too fast, I don't know. <laughs> there goes our 99 cents. We'll be coming across that very shortly. And one more. Okay. So, play this a little bit. Maybe we come across a neat trinket for a few rooms or something like that. It's amazing that we didn't uh, get a blood bag. I'm actually quite surprised. If we could find a way to come across the D20, then, I mean, we'll break the shit out of this run. I have no problem with doing that. Okay, bring him the photo. Yeah, we got that. Eve's bird foot is nice, but cancer is nicer. And that's exactly what I wanted. Maybe another spirit heart would do us well on our travels and play this a few more times. Let's see, what do we got here? Come on, blood bank. Oh, no, not quite. All right. So we'll go back around and pick up those red hearts that we left lying on the floor. But uh, cancer is a fantastic pickup for the time being. Um, I would love to get the compass... Or the map, because that'll help this run go a lot more smoothly and according to plan. But if we don't get those and we get something like Mom's Purse, I would be very happy to keep cancer. <laughs> Think about that sentence as I say it. Very happy to keep this trinket uh, instead of getting those two items, which I n most normally want on a run. Because we haven't gotten any um, tears upgrades. And our damage is pretty good. So we'll be able to kill very quickly. If we can just find some tears up pills or hold on to cancer. Okay. Now, I guess we go down. These guys, fast enough. I'm really fast. I should be able to run circles around them. Okay. You and you. This pill, what does it do? It's a health up. Okay, I'm down with that. Nothing wrong with health ups. Came across our first item room, though. Maybe we can finally start making use of this darn fangled space bar item that we call a D6. Okay. Another scent. What do we got in here? Skinny odd mushroom. Well, there goes our fire rate issues. So we can kind of give up cancer without worrying about it too much anymore. So now I'm back to what I want from the shop, which is the map of the compass. And or possibly nun's habit. There goes another spirit heart by way of the relic. Thank you, relic. What do we got down here? Wow. This, this floor is uh, pretty expansive. I'm, I'm shocked. I feel like I might have gotten another speed upgrade. Do I want to open that? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm glad I did. Because now I can do this. And now I can get something else that I don't want to see ever again. Alright, great. Good. Good talk. Oh, fuck. Need to find the second item room. Need to find the shop. And need to get another reroll. Possibly all three. Twelve bombs does make it possible for us to find the secret room. It would be almost irresponsible of us not to look for it, I suppose. Is it up here? Could be. Nope. Down here, what do we got? Off to the right. Possibly a dead end. It is. But that is also a charge for our lovely red item. Red six-sided cubit item. 
cuboid. Come on. There we go. Fish head is a fine item. Although it's not going to do us any better than canister at the point at the moment. Um, and there's another room in here, so we might get another reroll before we get to the next uh, item room, actually. Alright. Just keep firing away. Here we go, like Rambo in first blood. My more. Okay, so there's our reroll. We'll be getting it after this short squabble. Pick up that heart. And I want to see what's in the shop. The ladder. The 9 volts. So we'll take the 9 volt. At least now we have another reroll. We'll also take this uh, heart and this bomb. Might make a difference. You never know. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is bomb my way into what I think is the... Oh, come on. Come on. No, all right. I'm going to have to just eat it. Wow, how much more of this floor is there? Okay, we're going to bomb our way this way now. Because I don't want to miss out on reroll opportunities. I'm being that stingy. There it is. Alright, we're going to have to fight our way through this. This doesn't worry me as much because there's two more rooms yet to uh, fight through. Another spirit heart for our troubles. And a key. And a halo is an all stats upgrade, so we'll definitely pick that up. No problems there. Uh, might not be able to access that... Uh, Okay, that was excessive. We might not be able to access that uh, mob trap room because I don't know if we can get up to full health. We'll have to see. And if we can't, not the end of the world, but still. A little disappointing. Might find something cool in there. Okay. Just keep firing away here. Yep, there we go. I'm going to try to pick up these odds and ends. Okay. Maybe another heart would drop? No, it's just a bomb. Alright, we're going to head upward. Try to pick up these red hearts that we've left all over the place. Maybe go back to the arcade. Hopefully get ourselves some more red hearts. And if we get enough, we'll come back. Because once we go into these uh, sets, uh, series of boss fights, we're not coming back out. What do we got here? This is regular slot machine. Okay. I'm telling you, man, Guppy's Paw would be most notably good, man. Okay, let's see what's over here. Here goes another heart. I believe it's a half heart, yeah? Yeah, it was. Okay, but it doesn't come free, though. We have to use a bomb. And I am really fast, and it's really hard to get the bomb where I want it to be, but there we go. We're still two and a half hearts shy. I think we'll be able to make that up in here. Okay. Some spirit hearts would be nice. Let's just play this until we don't got nothing left. Kane's eye? I don't even know what Kane's eye does. I just know it's a thing. Alright, luck heart. How much faster are we shooting with cancer? Like insanely fast. Wow. Alright. Well, that's gonna stop very soon. More keys. I like more keys. Devil card's nice. I'll hold on to that for a little bit. There goes some hearts. Oh, and crystal ball. All right, we'll use it once. I do enjoy crystal ball. However, it's not going to help us. Oh, it might. I mean, we don't have the compass. Uh, this would be a risky play. This is risky. This is risky. We, I mean, we do have 9 volt. We would be using the... the crystal ball quite a bit and we'd be getting a lot of uh oh man I might be talking myself in am I talking myself into it no I don't know what am I what am I doing what am I saying all this money okay I'm honestly gonna play you down to 60 cents you don't give me the hearts I want guess what I'm playing that blood bank, and that's it. Ooh, you motherfucker. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Down we go. All 
All right, come on, give me something here. Give me something. One more play out of this. Oh, that's exactly what I want. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of hearts. Yes. All right, I didn't want to play at that time. All right. So, I think we reroll this now. Oh my god! It's on. Sorry. Sorry. Fuck the mob trap room. I don't give a shit. I just don't care. Okay. So, we got all this fun stuff in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll. No golden chests, but close. Damn. All right. It was worth the shot. We'll take, uh, no, I don't want the stars card. I want the devil card. And we're also going to take this. I might re I might regret it. I mean, it brings us up to full health, but I might regret the fact that I'm abnormally fast. Who knows? That w that could have been great if we got another ah. If we got another reroll somehow, we might have been able to uh, with the D20, we might have been able to make something happen. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Okay. Here we go, first boss uh, fight, that's going to be Loki, and Loki is not going to put up much of a, a fight, I don't think. Mostly because he's not even activating his spike trap over there. He seems pretty depressed. I think he got left by Mrs. Loki. She took a lot in the divorce. He's handling it rather well, showing up for work like nothing's happened. But, uh, you know, oh, there goes the trap. Seems like he's back on the wagon. There we go. Loki's dead, and bomb fly soon to follow. All right, what do you got for me, game? Come on, give me something good. Coin purse is fantastic, uh, mainly because we'll be able to do this, and all of these are good. Tears up, fantastic. Speed up, no thank you. I'm fast enough as it is. Just please tell me this isn't telepills. Luck up, I'll take that. Then devil card. Cool, let's go fight mom. This is blue mom. It's a little bit of a... Easy fight, I think. Red Mom. Actually, Red Mom is the easiest. Mainly just because you fall into a rhythm, and by the time you know it, the, the fight's over. Alright, I just look at the arrow keys, and I move so fast. I, if I don't dodge these uh, foot strikes, I don't deserve to play BOI. Come on, you. Okay. I know what I just said. And I know what you're all thinking, but I got stuck on the rock. Come on. Isn't that what killed, uh... Quicksilver? Or the Flash? It's the fastest thing in the world, but he got caught on a rock. That's why he got defeated. Alright, meat is a fantastic... Oh, there is an angel room, and I hear it. And I want it. I can't fucking get it. Alright, well... Whatever. Can't do much. Shit. Alright, well, that's depressing. Um, well, we might come back to you. Damn, I'm really upset that I missed out on that angel room. Okay, what the fuck. I guess since I opened it, I might as well use it, but damn, I didn't want to use that. Alright, don't get hit by these guys. Move around. There we go. Come on now. So another damage upgrade, an HP upgrade. We are pretty, pretty tanky. Skinny Odd Mushroom makes us a little bit untouchable because of our fire rate. So I'm very happy with our tier situation. Now what I really want is just flying. If we can get a flying ability, I'll feel great about our chances in survival. Um, I think what I do is I... Oh, god damn it! I played this guy a couple times. Okay, Hierophant? No, High Priestess. I'll take the Devil card instead. Play this guy until I get rid of the first row. Doctor's Remote is not the item we were hoping for. Okay, we'll pick it up. So that we'll never see it again. 
Reroll it into um, something else I don't want. That is not helpful to us. Little chub, I think. Just gonna spawn hearts. Although some of you might argue that's a great thing, and now we're at a half heart interval. I don't think so. I think we can get more out of it. We can get blood out of a rock right now. We, we just got it like that. Alright, so let's keep bobbing and weaving. Whoa! I almost walked into a bullet. Come on, to the side, to the front. What you doing? Here we go. All right. Spirit heart and a reroll. What's what say you? Don't pick him up. Okay, the magnet. Very funny game. Very funny. I see where you're going with that, but I will not be a jester to your court. I am here to win. Okay. Hey, did you know we have 20 keys? I wish we could save some for the next run to kind of ensure that we have them. It's like feast or famine when it comes to consumables, man. Sometimes you have too many of them. Sometimes you don't have enough at all. Come on now. Get up. No, you don't. Okay. These guys literally might be my least favorite enemy to play against. They're not a... They're not hard. They're not even... They're just, like... They're trolly. Like, they are the trolliest enemies, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Of the game. Uh, curse room is a definite. We will go in there and pick up a spirit heart. So, basically paid nothing to get in there. No, we lost a spirit heart. That's a lie. Okay, what do we have here? Miter. I'll take that. Kind of makes up for the angel room we missed. And we are completely rolling on angel items... Aside from the fact that uh, we only went to one angel room, which is kind of ironic. Whatever. Okay, let's play it cool. And we shouldn't take damage. That's a library. Ooh, libraries are so good. Okay. So, rerolls now become that much more important. Because if we can turn this library somehow into a double item room, now on this floor now on this floor, then we'll be in good shape. Okay. What do we got in here? Two things we don't really want to run with, so I'll do that, and then I'll do this. Book of Sin. Okay, a card. A temperance card. Interesting. Alright. Um... I don't think we... Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want another blood bag. Because that would just... That would just be ridiculous. What do we have in here? Eh, sure. Played a couple times. Down to 75 cents at least. Spirit heart. Okay. Hearts. All the same. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get that next gen re-roll. Okay, let's just not die prematurely from getting whittled down by blast assist. There we go. Alright, now the floor opens up. Get his fire shots in, clean up. Alright, and now with the added benefit of uh, Miter and Relic working with us, Spirit Hearts are going to be coming a lot more often. And red hearts are going to become less valuable to hang on to, I guess. There goes another spirit heart, just as I said that. Poop's all over the place. It's running the door. It's in front of the door! The poop is in front of the door! For Christ's sake, how's anybody supposed to walk in? Clean up after yourself. God. Okay, this turns into... Book of Rev. Another spirit heart. We may have guaranteed ourselves another cube of meat. Uh, I don't know, by doing that, but... Uh, you know, it's a necessary evil. Oh, and we do have enough health to walk in here. Ten bombs is not really what I want. Um, question now becomes, do you want to reroll the library, or do you want to possibly get 
But you've already gotten growth hormones and meat, so the things that you could have gotten out of that, uh, mob trap room or boss trap room kind of dwindle. I mean, the only other thing you can get out of there is, uh, poison touch. And although that would be nice, I don't think that supersedes the benefit of a double item room in general. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to exhaust this other room up here. Alright. Let's just not take damage so we can't walk back in there and even make a decision. Okay, good. There's a pill. That's balls of... Oh, that's health up. So we'll take that. We have so much health right now. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, let's see. And we have a, just about enough rooms to walk into the boss room and get ourselves another reroll opportunity. So what do we have here? Book of Belial, Book of Shadow. I think what we do with Book of Shadow is pretty obvious, right? Not necessarily to get another HP upgrade, but just to get the money associated with it. So in case we do come across um, like a happenstance sort of uh, money equals power, we'll at least be able to, uh, to make the most of it. All right, let's fight in here. Larry Jr., at this point, shouldn't even put that much of a fight up. Still is, though. He's a trooper. Come on. Get away from me. There we go. There's Chubb. Could have sworn Peep was going to spawn. I was about to be very upset. Got tears for days, man. Go ahead. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay, he should be dead soon. Yeah, eat that bomb. Last thing to talk about. Should be three waves, right? Double monstros. Alright. Just keep lobbing shots in here and we should be on the right track. This is not Monstro 2. Monstro 2... I think he has a little less health, but I just feel like he's so much more tankier than regular Monstro. Regular Monstro I could deal with. It's the Monstro 2s that damage me more often. Alright. Now it's time to head over to the boss room. There is another room down south of that. And I guess since we're here, we might as well explore it. Okay, more Larry Juniors. This will give us a reroll, but uh, you know we'll be we'll be forced to choose between boss room, possible devil room, or the library to use our reroll. And we have spirit hearts off the screen, so health is not really an issue right now. And there goes that third level cube of meat. Like I was saying, we kind of screwed ourselves into uh, getting this. So it looks like we'll be using our reroll in the library after all. Okay, just keep shooting shots in. All right, why are my shots ever so delicately missing where I want them to hit? Okay, a few more shots in here. All right. Thought maybe I could get him to explode over by death here, but that wasn't in the cards. Literally. Because there goes a card. On the ground, right there. Come on, Death. Don't drag this out like you do everything else. So dramatic. Okay, there goes what I wanted to have happen. Explosion by Death. Okay. No deal with the Devil, unfortunately. And we can't re-roll this cube of meat, so I'll pick this up. Um, ooh. That health is important. The world card can serve us very well. I'm going to keep this when we get up to the cathedral so that we can uh, easily and more quickly uh, locate Isaac. All right. Is this what's going to turn it into a double item room? Probably not, but we can go ahead. Oh, it is. Full suite of orbitals. Not going to take the bomb bag. I'm not sure if that's special or not. But, uh, yeah, no need to, right? So, what next? Well, 
I guess what we want right now is another library on the next floor so that we can reroll. I also wouldn't be opposed to these items, not necessarily in this order, but the noose. Ooh, how did I? Oh, the creep, right. The noose, sacred heart. Oh god. Why am I even? Get over here. Oh, get away from me. The new Sacred Heart um, Spider Bite would actually work wonders with this setup because we're firing so many shots that, uh, you know, we're bound to slow enemies down by sheer uh, volume of output. No reason we shouldn't check this out. Could be an item. What's in here? Not worth using. Okay, that's a dead end. And a couple more things that we can... All right, let's just be a little bit more reasonable about all this. Thank you. Spirit Heart, what do you got for me? A little bit more health. I like it. I do. Blast Assist, you are one per pesky customer. I must admit. Come on now. Knock it off. You people need to relax. All right. Line up and get yours. Get some. Get some. There we go. Not in the mood to check if the rest of the floor does have that uh, mystery library. If we didn't come across it already, and I don't feel like looking for it. Hopefully this fight doesn't take that long. Hoping I can whittle mom's heart down quickly. Look at all those shots just coming at you. Oh god. Come on, Monstro. Don't drag this out, man. Oh, I missed the other side of Larry Jr. There we go. All of our bombs are very helpful at this point because now we can just kind of lob those in and not worry about uh, any of the riffraff. Except for now. This one instance where... This is becoming an issue. Okay, throw those down. Another bomb. Permanent bomb throwing phase, very good. All right, so we got here. And she should be dead very shortly. Come on now. There we go. And we'll pick up this heart. And I'm going to wait for that creep to subside, and now here we are at the cathedral. Let's go ahead and pop this world card, and luckily there's no curse of blindness. We could see that uh, there's a few places of interest we might want to go to, the curse room being one of them, and then also the uh, boss trap room, slash possibly mob trap room, up at the top. And also the secret room, which is in a weird spot. It's very odd. Wouldn't think that it was there be very upset <laughs> if I didn't have the world card find out it's not there I'd be like fuck it I can, I can imagine it now fuck it I don't even care all right there we go chain reaction of things okay the umbilical cord is not really a do or die sort of item we'll just leave that there that spirit heart could be nice. Uh, if we can get the small rock. Oh, I was going to say, the world would be a different place. Um, not quite. Uh, Rainbow Baby might be something we want, we would want to keep. I don't know. I have to talk myself into it. I kind of like our damage output right now. But I wouldn't be opposed to more. Or just a tier effect in general. Curved horn. Oh, so good. We're keeping this for the Isaac fight. Okay. 
Uh, you know what? Totally not even... I don't even care about the secret room anymore. Um, yeah. I think we take Rainbow Baby. And I think we go into this uh, boss fight with the knowledge of knowing that we are very strong. Isaac, you're going to get it, buddy. Our damage... Not that it's through the roof or anything, but it's just very healthy. And he, of course, as a result, is shooting back like crazy, but our full suite of orbitals and guardian angels making it very hard for Isaac to hit us. Therefore, I don't give a shit. Aha! I found your weakness, you little bitch. Your tears have no effect on me. With my wad of meat, my guardian angel fetus, and my little fly. Oh, Hurt a little bit. Not too much. All right. All right. Throw a bomb down. Blow up some of those fetuses. Guardian Angel, you are a stallion among mules, friend. Oh, oh. Oh, starting to see my own health. That worries me a little bit. Oh. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> I've over I've underestimated my enemy. Oh god. I'm taking way too much damage. <laughs> Make it stop. Oh god. No. I am not going to melt down. I refuse to be denied. Okay, let that be a lesson to you. You don't want to overestimate or underestimate rather your opponent. Okay, that could have gotten a little better, I'm not going to lie, but still, we made it out, and we're taking the Polaroid with us. Here we go. Chest. Big plays. Lifesteal is not a big play. Wow, these chests are fling- look how far they're flinging me. Alright, the one-up is something- that's- okay. Polythemus and Magic Mushroom. And reroll City into the Hourglass and Peeper's Eye. Um, those are both rerolls waiting to happen, but, uh... We are really freaking strong right now. And we are also firing very quickly. So I think what we do right now is we kill Super Gluttony. Oh, I was trying to kill you first so we can get a tarot card out of the deal. But fortunately, no such luck. Let's see what's in our secret room. Nope. I don't care. Triple Loki? Whatever do you mean? Okay, so what else do I want right now? Still want flying. Not as much, but still want flying. Guppy's paw. Which would just make it impossible for us to die. Mom's knife. Mom's knife right now would just be ridiculous. I think it would be totally unfair to the game, and I am a big fan of making it unfair for the game. And the game makes it unfair for me. I'm not so much a fan of that. All right, Loki. You need to die a little bit quicker here. Not dying as fast as I would enjoy. Okay. No, no. I think what we're seeing here is, is the slight damage down that uh, Skinny Odd Mushroom confers is taking its toll on Polythemus a little bit. Not so much that it's, you know, detrimental or catastrophic to our damage overall, but still, uh, we're not one-shotting anything. Not that we need to. I mean, we're putting out enough tears to pretty much take care of everything in, in the room, but still. The ability to one-shot is not there. Alright, take care of famine first, then pestilence will follow very shortly. Oh my god, you know what would be so disturbing right now if if the music just kind of dropped out like kind of is if the um if the dj was playing a record and then he kind of stopped the record and went Rrr, you know what i mean i just had that thought for some reason and i just thought man that would freak me the fuck out i'd be like oh my god something's coming for me um technology is an interesting item i think with our current build we don't want that because it does confer with it a small damage downgrade and we're already kind of weary of our uh lack of one shot ability even though we have uh, Polythemus and a shit ton of uh, damage upgrades, the 
lack of one-shot ability we have from picking up Skinny Odd Mushroom is a little alarming. Little. Because with that means we have to stick around in rooms more often, and sticking around in rooms more often means taking more damage, and you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Okay, come on, the rest of you. Come on, the rest of you. Sit down. I need you to sit. Be good. Stop being so unruly. Whoa. That's a troll bomb. Thanks for that. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Oh, you fucking... I, I just... I hate you. I hate you. Alright. I'm just gonna keep wailing on him. Hopefully he'll find a way to just work his work his way off this mortal coil. Alright. Come on. Must you block every tier and take forever to kill? Okay. There we go. Got ourselves another spirit heart for the deal. And now it's time to reroll yet again. Both items, not worth it. Not worth it one bit. Let's head up and to the left. Take that heart. Okay, take care of Pestilence. Almost dead. Bombs are gonna hit me. There we go. Okay. War. You're another one. You're another prima donna. It'd be cool if we have Gish with us. Little Gish. We'll free some of these enemies. Rainbow Baby's kind of doing that from time to time, but not often enough. Okay. Half heart puts us at a half heart interval. This is the rosary. Uh, worth it for right now. Won't see the Bible. Okay. One of you dies. Life is better. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this where you try to be a hero. Bullshit nonsense. Alright, we'll actually use Yum Heart. Delicious. And now we'll come back and reroll those two items that were in our original spawn point. Hopefully to get something else that will put us over the edge. Um, bottle of pills is fantastic. We'll take one of these. Uh, health up. Sure, why not? So much health. So much health. Alright, this heart. We'll take that. And over here. There's our boss room. Finally. Finally! Found our boss room. Alright. Lust, you... Super Lust, you need to be the most desperate. The thirst on you is real. I mean, I can't even. Okay. And now we've got Wrath throwing some bombs at us. Making his presence known. That's great. Let's see what's up here. Some spiders. Shouldn't be a deal. Breaker, but this room always seems to damage me somehow. Say somehow, I know how. It's because you, you trampled yourself over a spider somehow. Said somehow again. Fuck. All right. Lemon mishap. Not worth it. We'll pick up Celtic Cross though. Never know when you might need that invincibility. Oh god damn it! Come on, game. I've already fought Peep once, and that was the second time fighting the bloat. You're being a dick, game. You're being a dick. All right. Come on, damn it. One more reroll, and we'll go in and fight the boss and bring this to a close. Come on now. These brains. You know, they're so big. I wonder what they're thinking, though. The brain's so big. And all I can imagine is it doesn't even have... It's not capable of, like, intricate or... Uh, you know, like, thoughtful... Um, thoughtful ideas. It's probably just sitting there going, Must smash. Skeleton key is a great item, but uh, for right now... It's... Uh, usefulness eludes us. 
So we'll go ahead and take care of Blue Baby the old-fashioned way by standing in one spot and pressing the left trigger. Um, I might want to move around. I, yeah, I take it all back. Yep, I take it all back. I'm gonna throw some bombs down. We're gonna make this an old-fashioned tears fight. No mom's knife. No brimstone. No gimmicks. It's just you and me, buddy. Mono and mono. Haymaker for haymaker. Blow for blow. You got tears, I got tears. You got flies, I got flies. You got angel fetuses, I got angel fetuses. What's good, baby? What is good? You can crack the sky. I got bombs. All right, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. There it is. He's dead. All right, one more time. We should get him. There we go. And we found ourselves on the winning side of things. So, if you like the video, thank you so much for watching. Please support the video and support my channel by liking, favorite, commenting, subscribing, and also sharing this on your favorite social media platform. It's been Fuzzy Motion and YouTube. As always, we'll see you in the next one, which is coming up soon. Bye-bye. Take care. So long. Have fun.